A rapidly expanding vent filled with icy blue water has appeared in Yellowstone National Park's Norris Geyser Basin, raising concerns about potential volcanic activity. The public fears that the feature, which has been forming over the past few months, could signal ongoing underground shifts at one of the world's most active volcanoes. In August 2025, Park geologists checking temperatures at a station in Norris Basin discovered a startling sight, a 4.5-meter wide pool of milky, light blue air. Located just west of Tree Island, the pool's presence was completely new since their last visit. Its formation appears to be related to a hydrothermal vent, but the underlying process is slow and subtle. Analysis of satellite imagery indicates that the vent did not exist before December 2024. On December 19, the area was still featureless, but by January 6, 2025, a small depression had formed. This depression gradually expanded into an air-filled pool by mid-February. The timing was confirmed by satellite data, which showed no signs of the feature in early December, but clear evidence emerged in early January. Geologists used a variety of tools to understand how the vent formed. Specifically, an infrasound monitoring station installed in 2023 detected several low-level acoustic signals from the area. While no major eruption signal emerged, these faint sounds indicated a series of small, continuous events, rather than a sudden, catastrophic explosion. The signals began around Christmas 2024 and continued until early February 2025. The absence of seismic activity during its formation suggests a gradual process. Rather than a single, violent eruption, scientists hypothesize that several small events caused silicious rock and mud to eject, creating the initial depression. These small disturbances eventually caused the pool to fill with silica-rich air, which remained warm at around 43 degrees Celsius, 109 degrees Fahrenheit. This behavior is consistent with previous hydrothermal activity at Yellowstone, where small eruptions are common. The park's history has witnessed other similar events, including the famous pork chop geyser eruption in 1989 and the Biscuit Basin eruption in 2024. However, the latest formation near Tree Island differs because it is more gradual, suggesting a series of hydrothermal processes. While hydrothermal eruptions are common in Yellowstone, they rarely escalate into larger volcanic eruptions. However, the presence of a new feature like this raises questions about subsurface activity. The park's monitoring systems, including satellite imagery and infrasound sensors, are designed to detect signs of significant eruptions. Current evidence suggests that the formation of this feature did not involve a major eruption. Rather, it resulted from a series of smaller, lower-energy events. Experts emphasize that such activity is common in Yellowstone's dynamic geothermal environment and does not necessarily indicate an imminent eruption. Internet users responded to this latest development with a mix of fear and awe, with a hint of skepticism. This is AI, joked one TikTok commenter. Is this why all the animals went extinct? asked another. Meanwhile, others choose to educate others, citing the official USGS website and other sources to reiterate that while Yellowstone's face may have changed, the risk of an eruption remains low. Extensive monitoring of Yellowstone continues to monitor changes in the caldera's behavior. New hydrothermal features near Tree Island suggest ongoing underground adjustments, but do not currently indicate an increased risk of eruption. Scientists remain cautious but recognize that the complex interactions within this supervolcano require careful monitoring.